Elderly persons and essential workers in the country have been hard hit by the COVID-19 virus. There have been complaints about their mental health, loneliness and ability to adapt to changes brought on by the pandemic. As the health minister tries to alleviate some of the concerns, they seem to have found themselves in a catch-22. This after Tuesday's disclosure that 43 residents and three staff members at the Golden Age home in Vineyardton, Kingston, have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. Speaking at Wednesday's press briefing hosted by the Ministry of Health, Local Government Minister Desmond McKenzie explained that preventative measures were implemented to prevent an outbreak at the facility. We, we took in face shields into all the facilities to improve the capacity of the staffing. Now, it is going to be difficult um, to, to police every area of the infirmaries, you know, despite our best efforts in, in, in doing so. And if a member of staff or any individual coming into these facilities is not showing any signs of discomfort as it relates to the virus, but is in a position to, to transmit, then, you know, the, 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 the temperature check and the sanitization and the wearing of the gowns, you know, all of that would not be able to prevent if we are not able to pick up. Mr. McKenzie insists that a slippage in enforcing the measures led to the COVID-19 cluster. There has to be some breach why the, the virus has infected so many persons. And, and based on the, the testing that has been done and the, the tracing and the limited information that we know, it is clear that it is out of those breaches that the, 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 the residents were infected. And as I said earlier on, the investigations are to determine the, how and who is on the way. And, you know, based on, on what is required, even if we know, we can't say because we have to protect the, 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 the individuals that, 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 are, that are involved. In the meantime, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton has outlined additional measures that will be introduced to tackle the issue. One of the things that we have done in the past, which we may need to do a little more of, is random testing, uh, you know, to not allow so many persons to be infected before you have an indication that there is an, an outbreak uh, in a facility. We do testing and we do random testing from time to time. Maybe we need to increase the intensity of that, particularly in the vulnerable institutions. Dr. Tufton is hoping that the arrival of the rapid tests in a few weeks will provide more effective alternative to urgently detect and control the spread of the virus. So far, emergency protocols are in effect at the facility. Those who have tested positive have been placed in isolation while others are in quarantine pending their results. Sandy Williams, Frontline News.